Hey, what is going on, you chill choodle? Today, we're just going to be playing some games with Combosation. Um, been playing this list for a little while now. Um, you guys all know probably how the deck works at this point. Uh, you use the Rangaroo, Mr. Mime, to get Jirachi Prism into your prize cards by putting it on top of your deck with a Rangaroo, and then using Mr. Mime to put the top card from your deck uh, into your prize cards, and then Jason's your main attacker. You just Intrepid Sword with Brave Blade, and you just attack. Uh, got the Hoopa in here as an alternate attacker, probably the best alternate attacker. No Tex in this build right now, no Duskman, no Feeny. Uh, Duskman really good against Picaram, Feeny really good against the Baby Blounds. Just kind of keeping it straightforward and vanilla today. Um, anyways, yep, yeah, that's the list. I don't got much else to say. Let's go ahead, let's get into some games. Okay, we're getting into our first game. Uh, we have the option between Mr. Mime or Jirachi Prism, so I went with the Mr. Mime um over the jirachi prism our hand is actually all right if we tap like a quick ball um we can actually set up the combo right here right now we can a quick ball for the orangaroo um and then put the orangaroo on the bench scoop up at the mime put the jirachi prism on top put down mime get the combo done with right here right now already get it out of the way giratina start from our opponent so they're probably playing dragapult which is a fine matchup actually um yeah there's a jirachi grab yeah it's probably Dragon Ball, definitely a fine matchup. Not ridiculously good, not ridiculously bad. It's just, it's a close one. We don't play like anything like Zama Senta, which is like another tech card. Like I mentioned, Feeny and Duskmane across one of that were pretty good at the beginning of the video. Uh, Zama Senta for the Dragon Ball matchup, also pretty good. Um, and if there's a lot of Dragon Ball, like there is right now, Dragon Ball's like by far the most popular deck I think right now. Definitely a reasonable consideration to include the Zama Senta. You can't really use it every game. It's a little bit awkward to try and utilize consistently. Um, another card that's decent right now is actually the Kiratina with the um, Dimension Breach ability. Is that exactly what the ability is called? All I know is it discards a special energy off their active. That's what you play it for. Um, I think it's called Dimension Breach, though, is the, uh, is the ability. I don't remember for sure. All right, our opponent's got the skateboard on their Jirachi. Dragapult V on the bench. Here comes another quick ball. Probably going to be a dead A change, unfortunately, for them. It looks like they whiffed the energy spinner off the Stellar Wish. Yeah. So going with the dead A change, because getting that turn one energy attachment is super important on Dragapult V. Uh, putting the dead A in play is super bad, but whiffing the turn one energy is almost worse. It's pretty rough to whiff the turn one energy. And actually, they put three abilities in play for us, so we could go no combo this game and just go into hoopa and knock out a jirachi here um and then knock out two shot a dragapult and then knock out to dene and that could just be our game plan here actually just to go knock out knock out knock out not even ever combo and i could just like ditch this uh jirachi prism right off the bat here um i feel like i might hold on to it for a little bit though because i don't know for sure i'll be able to get off the hoopa yeah so let's go like this i'm gonna put the escape board active i'm gonna use the great catcher as well right here on the Dene, and then maybe make it awkward for our opponent to get into a turn two Dragapult and then research. Oof, no energy hits so far. Gonna quick ball away. A switch. Quick balls are pretty important to keep around. Grab a Zation. Um, retreat to Jirachi. Stellar Wish. Grab a Metal Saucer. Throw on the Zation. Throw on the Hoopa. Metal Saucer to the Zation and then a Trepid Sword, at least hopefully hitting one, nope, zero energy. Hopefully hitting one energy, hit zero energy. Yeah, missing energy attachments with the Zation deck is not good. You want to attach your energy every single turn at the very least. Um, and then from there, using Trepid Sword stuff to kind of clean up uh, extra attachments you need to actually get into a Brave Blade. We can still get off a Brave Blade next turn, but um, yeah, we really wanted a uh, an energy hit there. Looking at energy attachment is not cool, man. All right, we do have the Hoopa set up, and they still have two abilities in play, which I'm sure they're going to try and get rid of, because Hoopa's super good in this, in this matchup, because uh, they have two abilities. You hit for 100 damage, which is uh, sets up the two-shot to go Hoopa into uh, Zation for the knockout. So it's really cool uh, math there for the Hoopa. If they have two abil just two abilities in play, they actually don't even need that many for us to pull it off. And they do have those two abilities in play right there. Here comes a Distortion Door. Um, third ability in play now. Um, hitting up the Hoopa, but they do want to try and put some work in on that Hoopa. Actually, they whiffed a way to move. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't mind just bringing this up and hitting it with my, my Hoopa if I can sell it into a uh, skateboard or something. There's a switch. Um, let's go with that. 
Yeah, getting the early hit on this Dragapult seems good to me. So let's go. Let's go with that play. Taylor's goes. Uh, evil admonition don't want to reset their hand with Marnie because it's evident that they didn't have a super great hand there because of uh, with How little they played out. Oh, I forgot this this guy doesn't even have it We needed them to put this Giratina in play. I forgot this guy didn't have an ability right now because of the power plant So we actually would have been in a uh, Interesting spot um, They hadn't done that here comes another zigzagoon pain. He's gonna be on the active uh, Could have been on our Jirachi prison. They could have taken that out that I don't know that is scary I mean a lot of things are kind of scary here Feels like we're really not in that great of a spot with our setup. We don't even have an Orangaroo in play yet. Um, a lot. Of, I guess we have time to find everything, though. Here comes that Max Phantom. So our game plan is knock out this Dragon Ball B-Max for three prize cards. And then over the next couple turns, set up combo plus knock out the Dedenne for three prize cards with the combo. Um, hopefully we find a Metal Saucer, way to move our Jirachi, and a way to pick up this uh, Jirachi because I'm scared of this thing getting knocked out um, for sure. All right, they're hitting up Barzation a little bit here, which is good for us, I think. Um, well, they hit this for zero. Well, yeah. All right, so I'm just going to go. Yeah, all right. That's just guy we're going. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Switch card, Metal Saucer. Perfect. Uh, way to get the Orangaroo and some other stuff. Let's see, play some Acrobike, see what happens. Um, probably give the energy for the Acrobike. Keep digging through the deck here. Got the Switch. Another one. Grab the quick ball. Okay, we dug pretty deep there. Um, do we need to get a... What's it called in play here? Let's go ahead and go with Stellar Wish. What do I got? A net. Okay. Got a saucer. Here. Skateboard. Quick ball. That was at four energy. I have six. I have six energy left. I'm gonna give him an energy here. Grab the Guru. All right, four energy in deck, two in prize cards. Still really good odds of hitting one. And net the Jirachi. Um, could quick ball away the switch and actually get the. I don't want to lose this switch though. That's the problem. I don't want to lose this switch. Uh, to be able to reset this station. I only have one switch left. So, all right, saucer, saucer to the other station. Uh, but I think this is fine. We don't actually need to combo immediately. We don't even have to combo next turn, I don't think. Um, we can combo like the turn after. So this feels like we're in a fine spot. Get our three prize cards. Look at that to Dene. We could even look to two-shot this one still. This other Dragapult. Um, there are the two energy prize. There's the boss. So actually, we're really close to just winning this game now. <laughs> Might even just be able to win it next turn if our opponent frees up a bench space for us by knocking out this Jirachi. And if they don't, then I can kind of switch into it and hopefully just get a scoop up net. Um, all this is hoping that we don't get stamped or marnied um, to hold this current hand. But, I mean, if they don't do that, we're, we're chilling. If they do do that, then we'll have to find a different route to go down to uh, pull off the dub. Not that big of a deal. I mean, they probably play reset stamp and they probably have more Marnie. So it wouldn't be too big of a surprise if they do. Uh, yeah, there's a Marnie. <laughs> they do play one of those cards. Here we go. No, we have the Drachi Prism. Okay, we got the Quick Ball for the, the Mr. Mime. Definitely just going to go probably attach here, Intrepid Sword. And then um, just got to find that boss's orders again. We only have, there's what, two boss left in the deck. Uh, so we just need to find one. If we find one, all good. If we don't find one, not as good. Uh, we'll find one, though. I'm confident we'll find one. And we'll see what they knock out here. They'll probably knock out my Jirachi, the Stellar Wish guy. Um, most likely. And I guess if we top deck really well... We primate wisdom into a card really well. We could actually win next turn. If we like top deck switch, primate wisdom into the boss's orders after we quick ball for the, the second Mr. Mime, shuffling the, the boss orders from the bottom of the deck into the middle of the deck. But we'll probably have to intrepid sword and actually hope we hit um, other stuff. But we could also just go, if we top deck like a supporter, we could just go for hit hit on this Dragapult and win that game that way. Because um, they don't have a ridiculous amount of uh, options here. Our opponent doesn't. Uh, we could just two kit KO this. And we have what two metal saucer left, or one metal saucer left, but it's in the deck. If this guy switches to the bench, goes to the active, she need to go attach, attach. And I don't think they can win in two turns. So it's possible we just not two hit KO this, and then that's kind of the game. We'll see what we top deck that we have to find like a switch to reset this guy. So yeah, my Jirachi's gone as well. Can still pivot with Mr. Mind, but they just can't draw four prize cards next turn. It's kind of impossible for our opponent to do that. And there's a research top deck, so um yeah, looking reasonably promising to be able to pull that line of playoff instead. Um, so we're going to go 
with ball wake. You're still gonna set up this combo. Um, unfortunately, our great, our great um, catcher is not here anymore. Yeah, he's gone. All right. We only have one switch in the deck as well. There's the boss. Now the question becomes, do I just attach here and trap it? I still have a boss left. Going for the 2 KO is also just really good. Unfortunately, the boss top deck is pretty unfortunate, though. Um, we could have got a switch out of our prize cards as well, which means there could be a switch right here on our top deck. Uh, there wasn't. We did get the switch. Got the Metal Saucer. Um, I'm going to play the Acro Bike. Grab the Research. I think. Yeah, let's grab the Research. Okay, so, oh, man. Maybe I should have just held the boss play. The boss play was is getting better and better the more I the more I'm thinking about this. I should have checked if my other boss was on my prize cards as well. Alright, switch. Um, I think I might actually retreat into this one and attack with this one instead. No, 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 because I have to get another switch, which I don't have. So Brave Blade. The problem is they can retreat to this guy and you shred. Um And then we might get stuck for a turn. They'll shred, they'll go down to two prize cards. We will send up Mr. Mime, see what our top deck is, and then we'll just probably retreat into this guy, and then uh, Brave Blade the new, or retreat into this guy and just, bra yeah, Brave Blade the, oh no, we'd have to Intrepid Sword with a fresh station. We'd like send up this guy, attach here, Intrepid Sword, Marnie. Here comes a boss from our opponent. They don't knock this guy out though. Um, I guess they're gonna shred this one. Oh, they're gonna shred this one and then Max Phantom both of these guys. I mean, that's kind of annoying. But we can just retreat this right now. How many bosses do they have left? A couple? Okay, um, gonna attach here, bench, I don't want to hit this thing really, because then he could max fan up KO KO, wait, how many nets does he have left though? Four net gone? I feel like I should attack this actually, but I don't think they can get two more damage on this guy, they would be able to KO this guy and I don't have any more switch though, so I guess that doesn't work as well as I thought it would. Alright, let's go with Primate Wisdom, the, uh, I shouldn't have Primate Wisdom anything yet actually, I should have Stellar Wish, Retreat Stellar Wish first. Quick ball. Okay, let's shuffle that up. Quick ball this. Grab this. Last boss is prized. Okay, the last boss is prized. This is what I was scared of. Me messing up. Um, uh oh. Well, how many energy do I have left? I still have energy. Have plenty of energy left. Plenty of energy. Energy's not a problem. Retreat to this guy. Get that damage out of play, I guess. Scoop up net this guy. Send up Jirachi. I have one net left, I believe. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna... Mr. Mime. Uh, this prize card with the top deck. Stellar Wish. It's not the boss, but we have another net. Uh, so we can take this net. Scoop up net the... Mr. Mime again. Mr. Mime down. Put this prize card on top. And then pass. Because if I Marnie, I would draw into it. Um, but I don't think I want to draw into it. Oh, we can Intrepid Sword. We need an energy as well. Yeah, Intrepid Sword here. There's the boss. We need an energy though. But like two out of the last three cards in our deck are energy. So we should either top deck an energy or probably wisdom into an energy. So uh, it's all right. We're looking pretty good. <laughs> I think we're in a pretty good spot. We'll see. Here comes a research from our opponent. They probably want to reset stamp us no matter what. Um, I think I figured it out. Yeah, here comes the reset stamp. Gonna draw three of our eight. There's the boss, there's the energy. So it should just be game here. We can knock out the Dedene. We can knock out this other Dragapult. Uh, but yeah, we have to use Mr. Mime there at the end to get that last boss out of the prize cards because it was stuck in there. Um, but they can't draw four prize cards this turn. Our opponent just can't do that. It's not possible. Um, they have to hit this guy and then they have to knock out this guy probably being like, well, now of course we also have the energy, which we do have. We do have the boss. So it is just game. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's what else, something else you can do with this, this combination deck that's super cool is, uh, less RNG in your prize cards when you can actually take your prize cards out of your prize cards. Um, so that's, uh, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool when you can, uh, when you can do that. Um, alongside, you know, drawing an extra prize card sometimes by putting the Drachi Prism in there. Sometimes you're also just like, wait, uh, I need to have those last two prize cards. Like I had right here, I was like, boss's orders in there. I can Mr. Mime twice. Let's do that. And then we did that, and it's all good. Actually, oh, we also got our switch out of the prize card. So we have a switch available to us as well. Um, and this got put back in the prize card, which is actually possible as well. Um, 
which we don't want, but it is possible. Our opponent's taking their time here. I can't imagine what they're thinking about. Uh, probably thinking if they actually want to knock this thing out, but I think you always knock this out here because it means I don't have an energy a, a station fully set up. Um, and you're definitely afraid of boss's orders here as my opponent. I can't imagine anything else you're afraid of. Uh, so four here, uh, but I guess then they're, they can't even win next turn. Is there a better way to do it? I don't even think there's a better way to do it though. Yeah, four one. Uh, if I hit them, they knock me out, but I never hit them here. Unless I, I guess I would potentially have to in some scenarios. And my opponent doesn't know whether or not I have to hit that. We know I don't have to hit that. We just need to play our turn and uh, you know, win the game, but. All right, here we're going. Yeah, we didn't even really need combo. Set it up, but we got that efficient attack out of Hoopa early on. Didn't have to end up using it as we uh, take out the Dragapult for the last three, which will include the Jirachi Prism. We just don't have an extra prize card to uh, to draw with it. Right, there we go. Oh, the Switch did get put back in the prize card. Let's get to another one. Okay, getting to another one here. We are going second, but our opening hand is pretty good because it has Quick Balls, and Quick Balls are just kind of good early on. We can currently Quick Ball away our energy and our top deck to get um who mirror match all right mirror match is uh it's a matchup yeah hopefully our top deck is quick ball all away we'll see it's acrobite perfect so we can get rid of acrobite grab a station and then combos in here check the energy real fast no supporters prize. what did we prize then to one saucer saucers are some of the most important cards in the um Mirror match. Grab a Jirachi. Okay. Yeah, mirror match is going to be interesting. <laughs> I pick up our Guru. Oh, I guess I could have. No, I don't want to Wisdom first, I don't think. All right. Research is perfect. Insane. All right. Pretty good draw so far. Um, but we are scared of that turn two boss from our opponent, Knockout Arization, which uh, is like the goal uh, turn two from uh, the mirror match. I like, guess what you want to do. Uh, no. Oof. We need a another Zation here. To set up gotta go with the metal saucer um, i think we gotta look for another quick ball here never lucky on this one all right we're gonna take this boss's orders i'm gonna primate wisdom the metal saucer in case we get marnied um oh, i should put the energy on top actually i think that was a mistake and then intrepid sword Yep, no, uh, we really want to split our energy up here because now all of our energy is on one station, which can be easily KO'd by our opponent's station if they just have boss attach switch. Goodbye, Zation. Uh, and that's all of our energy. We want to have our energy split up ideally two and one, uh, but one and one is still better than our current situation. It's just a Marty from our opponent, though. All right. Bailed out of a uh, almost seemingly unfortunate situation. It wasn't like we weren't in that bad of a uh, situation. It was just kind of looking a little bit rough. Um, because, yeah, like you want the energy split, man. Sometimes you don't get the energy split. And you're just like, oh, well, our energy's not split. Really want that energy split. All right. We have combo set up in hand, which we probably will go for. Because um, we can combo twice and just knock out two Zations, ideally, as our game plan. And if our opponent can't quite do the same, we'll be in that much better of a spot. But, hey, they already have combo set up as well. Um, also, just knocking out their Zation would be fine. But we could also just go combo and Trepid Sword with hopefully a fresh Zation this time. And then kind of work from there and try and pull off another combo later in the game and just knock out two stations for all of our prize cards we could also try and get our hoopa out um and just start taking knockouts here hoopa would be really good here as well comes in intrepid and just kind of leave our stations on the back line yeah hoopa just who swing with hoopa here would also be pretty good actually just to put some uh aggression on them if I don't get a draw supporter here, I want this to get another Zation. There's an acro, so we'll start with that. Yeah, otherwise I have to grab another Zation here with this front wall. Let's go after the switch. We can switch and then still I wish again. There's a research. Okay, so now we can combo. Um, front ball, grab this. Hoopa is in there. Some quick balls are left. Or metal energy. I'm debating if I want to. Hopefully, this just gives us a Zation right here. If we just get a Zation here. The boss. Ooh, that's also pretty good, though. That's actually. I like. I just didn't expect. It's so good, I didn't expect to get it. Um, that's an insane rip off the top of the Primate Wisdom. And we will take it. <laughs> Knock out the Zation. Draw three prize cards. And we're set up to be able to do the combo. 
Um, yep, yeah, not something I was... Uh, I mean, I felt like I had to get so lucky to pull that off that I just kind of didn't plan on getting it. We got it. Ooh, saucer in hand. Not too ridiculously ideal, unless we can get it on a Zacian, which we don't have a second Zacian in play, which is what we need to find here, obviously. Um, our opponent could easily, or definitely respond. I want to say easily. Could definitely respond. This is our first Metal Saucer going out, so could definitely respond with a knockout on our Zacian. Would not be surprised at all if they pull this off, um, and then we need to figure out a game plan from there. Um, like I said, we probably just want to go into another combo, uh, but to set that up is going to be a little while, so that's what we want to do. We just want to combo again, uh, but we got like a Saucer in our hand. I don't know hand is a little bit awkward we don't want to lose this saucer is the biggest thing the saucer is super important but we do have two left so we can still just create a zation out of nowhere basically um not that difficult to pull off but uh it, it's better if it's uh used on a, a station here so we get like a retreat um if we get a switch plus boss that's kind of just game <laughs> knock out this zation um I don't think they should actually bench the station for my opponent because this one has a pan. Just like hope I don't have boss switch scrapper. Like it's kind of insane for me to have to so play. Like I don't have that. Um, I think it's the better play here from our opponent. Um, so we got combo to put it back in the deck. So we could just retreat our Zacian Stellar Wish combo. So let's combo first. Let's pick up this. Um, put the Jirachi Prism on top. See what we get. A Metal Energy. Okay, Mr. Mime. Set up the combo again. And then let's just go retreat to um, Jirachi. Stellar Wish. Marnie sounds pretty good here to me. I'm down to Marnie here. Disrupt their hand. Uh, maybe stop a potential boss play from happening. We'll attach here again, Marnie. Hopefully, we find a scoop up net and another Zacian. Found another station, no scoop up net. So we're gonna have to intrepid sword with this guy here, uh, which isn't that big of a deal. It's just preferable the other way around. Um, so we got what three metal saucers in deck. The thing, the problem right now is our bench space is a little bit clogged. So if they always focus down our station in play, we just need to find some nets. Basically, we need to find some scoop up nets, clean up our bench a little bit. We already have the combo set up in the prize cards again. So we're drawing three prize cards on the next station we knock out. We just need to clean up our bench space to create room to do that or. Um, create room for another Zacian so we can start building up more uh, energy in play more efficiently because all of our energy on one dude is not good. Um, I know I say that and then I said they should have actually not benched this second Zacian, but um, it has got a frying pan. Like I said, I need a ridiculous amount of stuff to KO this frying pan Zacian. I need Switch Boss Scrapper in my hand. Like, I just used the boss. Scrapper is always a one of in combo Zacian. Our opponent definitely should not have benched this guy. I was a little bit um, greedy. I don't know. How many nets are they down? Is that the third net? So they probably just won't be able to combo again, potentially. Which means, um, if they just can't combo again, that means that uh, they always have to take three knockouts as opposed to two. So it's that much, it gives us that much more time to work with on, on our end, uh, which is great. And it looks like they failed the Stellar Wish. Um, so it's probably going to be a Research or an Intrepid Sword. Because um, they're probably definitely scared of attacking with a Zacian. At this point, maybe this Zacian just attacking. I hope I don't have the Scrappers actually okay yeah there's a research that means no uh what's it called though that means no boss which means we're safe for another turn we're getting slightly lucky here just slightly ever so slightly there's the boss for next turn all right we know they have the boss next turn now they just got the boss finally got themselves a boss all right we need to find a scoop up net let's find a scoop up net here so let's start with um if i don't find a scoop up net i'd rather have the quick ball in my deck so let's start with some stellar wishes um, there's a Marnie. We do whiff. I actually might just... Well, we have a big hand here. And we have the quick ball for the Zacian. So I'm going to try and get the scoop up net now. Whiffed again. Hmm. Go ahead and grab ourselves the... I mean, Switch kind of seems like the worst card here, I feel like. Because yeah, I'd rather have the quick ball in my deck. All right, let's go ahead and Marnie, I guess, then. Once again, we're looking for scoop up net Zacian. Uh, five cards. A lot of cards in our hand were not those cards. Got the Zacian, no net. Um, we could still get a net though. Primate Wisdom into a net. So it's Primate Wisdom, a research on top. See what we get. It's not a net. Okay. Um, gonna go ahead and retreat into a Mr. Mime because if they're gonna take a knockout, I'd rather have a knockout Mr. Mime and Trepid Sword. Still not a net. <laughs> still netless out here. Where are the nets at? They're in the deck somewhere. Um, but 
maybe our opponent will finally take a knockout here on my Mr. Mime. We won't have to worry about that anymore. We'll see. We'll probably actually also just like speed through the rest of our deck potentially and like win the game. Um, maybe my last two nets are prized. I did not check. Not going to lie. So our last two nets could also just be prized at this point. Uh, and once again, our opponent is in a situation where they need a boss's orders. Um, attacking with either Zacian is super risky. Um, at some point, they might just have to like Marnie and hit with this with this Zacian or Stamp if they play Reset Stamp and just kind of hit with it and be like, well, I hope I hope they don't have the Tool Scrapper, which is like fair. At some point, you have to just kind of be like, well, I can't stay here forever because they'll eventually our opponent will just find what they need. But it looks like they got the boss play. I would assume with how they're currently playing. Yeah, there's the boss on my Zacian. Finally goes down. Our opponent draws three prize cards themselves. I, like I said, though, I don't think they can combo again. They're out of nets, so they need to go through another two knockouts. Whereas I only need to get one more knockout on a Zacian. Um, I don't know if I can do it this turn. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. Um, maybe we might just like chill and just set up Zacians on the bench. There's another Zacian. Oh sheesh, that's a lot of Zacians. All right. Um, Nets, we could go for it. Uh, wouldn't it be the most ridiculously ridiculous thing to hit? Um, let's still wish to see if I can get a net here. Tool scrapper, boss, tool scrapper. So let's take the let's take the boss. Actually, I really want a net here. We're we're lacking that. Hold up, let's try again. I want to set up two zations here. Not a net as well. I think we just dig deeper on this on this turn. Let's go Primate Wisdom this. Maybe we get a net this time. Nope. Bench. Attach. Intrepid. Uh, grab that. Uh, we're going deeper into our deck. And I don't think they can win next turn. So even if they have a switch, uh, something, boss, knock out my Zacian. My hand is this much bigger. I've been that much. I've gone that much deeper into my deck. Um, so uh, that also means they're not Marnie in us. Usually there's no reset stamps in combo Zacian. So they can't like boss plus stamp. Some play the stamp though could still have the stamp but if they have to pick between boss and marnie uh if they boss we still have uh, if they marnie we still have a station set up if they boss uh we still have this huge hand to work with so still a lot of options and uh it looks like they're and then now we have to go for the um scrapper double saucer knockout that's what we have to look to do this turn i think uh, but we'll see maybe our opponent oh they'll just go with the pass all right living on a net one time net can we find it no <laughs> still no net um oh wait we could have just retreated oh my gosh i had game in hand uh we still have game skateboard no no no, because we don't have a way to never mind we could just knock out their active here though but i feel like it's better to make them choose between marnie and boss if this is my active then they don't have to do that um yes yeah, best to make them choose between marnie or boss for sure if I KO their active, then they can go Marnie KO my active. And then I lose my huge hand. So I either have a Zacian set up, or I have a huge hand. i make my opponent choose. There's a net. Gosh. All right, take the net. Finally, man. Finally, there's a net. We've done it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... Well, let me take a look at my discard real fast. Go ahead and net up... Uh, uh, Mr. Mime, he's pretty useless. I'm going to go ahead and put another Zacian down. I'm going to go ahead and Metal Saucer... Um, I guess I should have Primate Wisdom first, because if I get a net, then I actually would have won the game with boss. I could still win the game with boss. Um, but I can't move my active right now. That's currently the problem. Um, attach here, and then... Uh, um, how many switch cards do they have left? Two switch down. They have switches and an escape board left. All right. Trip sword. Get an energy. All right, cool. Now I think we got our opponent. We got him. Because so, either we can attack twice with stations into whatever they have in the active, and we don't even need the bench space anymore to get out the thing, or they KO something on our, our field, which could be anything, and then we still probably win because uh, our deck is super thin now. Everything is just kind of gas, except for this guy, this guy. All of our Pokemon are trash, but everything else gives us, like, win condition options. Um, so, yeah, the Pokemon, uh, they'd be aight. But the rest of the hand, super good. Uh, or rest of our stuff left in our deck. We got like Dedenne in here. We got some researches, some quick balls to find Dedenne. Scrapper to get rid of the pan. We got a saucer or two left. We got some energy left. Yeah, everything is great uh, and good. Um, so all we need to do is just actually attack with Zations now. If they don't KO a Zation, if they KO a Zation, we just use Zation to KO a Zation for three prize cards. And then the game is over as well. Should be all good. <laughs> as I've been saying, should be all good. Here comes the boss. We're going to send up a Jirachi Metal Saucer to our bench. 
uh, tool scrapper the frying pan and then play research draw our whole deck draw an energy to retreat a switch to retreat our last scoop of net if it's in the deck one of those things um or we could have sent out that guy yeah here we go uh so attach here Little saucer oh we have boss we have scrapper we're gonna go with the scrapper though remove the frying pan hard retreat and just like i said we can win the game Tuesday should knockouts with combos. It got a little bit awkward. I felt awkward, especially because our opponent just wasn't doing anything, and we didn't have to do anything until we just had our win condition. So it was kind of like our opponent, we got that first initial boss knockout, and then from there, our opponent just didn't do anything. Um, so we didn't have to do anything, because we're ahead. We can just like sit here, wait, and trepid sword, fill up a huge hand. They can't they can't Marnie and boss in the same turn. Um, so kind of got them in like a trap there with how good of a start we had and that's gonna do it for these games with the composition i hope you guys enjoyed the games if you did give the video a like and just the content be sure to subscribe have a good day thanks for watching and peace